Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a TV ad at home and it's going to be my first try doing this. So um, as many of you probably do as well, I spend most of my time watching like Daniel Schiffer, Austin Cole, and those are things that I found that I was really interested in. So I wanted to give it a shot and see how I would do a TV ad if I were to do one. So my product for today was Pop Chips and I have three flavors here. I had sour cream and onion, sea salt and barbecue. So I'm going to try to portray the three of them. I'm going to be using my TV as the background. So I have a blue background, a red background and a yellow background that I'm going to be switching in between. And I don't have anything like um, a slider or anything. So I'm going to be using my Ronin SC with my Sony 872. Um, on the Sony 8.72, I have the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. And I also have these Nikea um, extension, macro extensions that are 10 millimeter and 60 millimeter. So I'm gonna be trying this out today for the first time and I got this <laughs> solely for this video. So um, it was really hard to film myself and also like try to do all the stuff that I was doing and holding the running at the same time. So I know all the shots aren't gonna be the best until you see the final result and I apologize for that. Um, I do have a 35 millimeter on my camera and I don't have a zoom lens that I can use for this. So it was really hard to work in a small space, especially without blocking the lights that I'm using. So for the next video, maybe I'll try a little bit, um, just to have a better video for you guys. So for the first shot, I decided to do my hero shot. And for this one, I just took three things that I thought, um, would summarize like the ingredients of the pop chips. Um, and I kind of decorate a little bit with the chips on the side and the paprika, you know, for the barbecue, the sour cream and onion and the sea salt. And I also decided to put a little bit of olive um, and just some kind of wooden details as, um, you know, to just to make it more complete. And I think I really like this shot. It's probably one of my favorite ones. And yeah, um, I'm going to say that without having a slider, this one was a little bit tough. Um, most of them were actually, to be honest, but we're going to get to that in a second. So I wanted to take um, some shots of just the bags kind of like rotating a little bit. And this was kind of a struggle because the sticks that I have aren't really like heavy. So it was hard for me to kind of like hold the weight of them. And then um, also like the rotation just with my hands holding it wasn't very smooth, but I couldn't figure out a better way to do this right now. Honestly, balancing this thing is probably the pain of my existence. <laughs> Probably gonna take me a while. As far as lighting, I'm using the Godox um, SL60W, and I'm also using another young little, little light over there. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to need another light. Um, just coming from the side, I'm afraid to put too much lighting because it's definitely reflecting onto the TV. Okay, so I'm gonna start using this little rotating device. I got this from Amazon. It is a little bit smaller than what other people have, but honestly, I don't think that I need anything bigger than this right now. Um, I'm going to just put the pop chips right here. I'm going to switch them out um, as I film them and I'm going to have them like rotating just like this. And then I'll switch into the next flavor. Okay, so if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to just glue the potato chips to one of those barbecue sticks. But for now, I think this is going to be okay. Okay, so I put this light right here just because I wanted to dim my heat light a little bit more. Um, I found that the shot that I took, the potato chip bag, which is too bright. So I wanna see how it looks now. And maybe like the background also looks a little brighter too. Okay, so even though I think we have the shot and actually looks really good, the problem now is that I don't think I'm going to be able to take this out in post. It's just not going to be really easy for me. So maybe I should stick these to the barbecue sticks like I thought in the first place. 
my hands don't seem to be long enough for this to be all in the frame. So we're gonna have to do it like this. I mean, we got it, it's just so inconsistent, especially because the stakes are not heavy enough to like hold the weight of the whole bag. So I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it and see what's in focus and what isn't. So I'm gonna start here. I think that's where I should be. I'm just gonna move it. I decided to use this piece of foam that came in one of the packages that I got recently and um, I think this worked out well but the problem was that when when it rotated it made my product be from the left to the right so I don't know if I'm going to do that I'm going to see how it came out post, like in post and see what I can do to fix it or see if I want to even want to use it maybe add some text to it depending on depending on how I'm feeling and how everything comes together at the end. All right, so I just have to move it back a little bit. I wanted to get some close-ups of the actual little bowls that I have, like the white bowls with the Greek and the salt and the sour cream. So I did that. I had to hold the Ronin and <laughs> kind of do the motion with my hand at the same time. So it was a little bit tricky. I hope that things are actually in focus, but they seem to be once I look at my camera. Um, but yeah, I'm hopeful for that. It was really hard. So I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. All right. So now we have just little bowls with sour cream and onion, um, sea salt. And I also have paprika to like kind of um, for the barbecue one, because I don't really know what else I should put. I looked through the ingredients and paprika was one of the barbecue ingredients. So that's what I picked. And then I did have this idea of turning a potato chip into one of the chips. I also didn't know that once <laughs> that getting this bag from Amazon was going to be such a terrible idea because most of them are like very, they just look rough and they kind of like lost the air inside of them and I couldn't figure out a way to make them like a little more fluffy but I guess it just is what it is and then inside there most of them are not like whole chips so yeah I had to like deal with that and I think the one that looks the worst is like the hero shop just because I wanted like full pretty chips for that shop but I didn't want to open all the bags because it would just be a waste the one that I did open I ended up eating I ended up eating it so that's good. But so what I ended up doing for that shot is I put a stick onto the potato and kind of like rotated it. And I, again, this, I had the same issue with it being not very smooth. I think I have to get just bigger sticks. I am going to be using these just because I bought them. Um, but next time I think I'll probably buy bigger ones. But then I took a little bit of um, fish line and I wrapped it around a potato. And I tried to hold it as close to it as I could. Because if I held it like this and put my hand out of the frame, it kind of just like swung around and I didn't like that. I wanted to have more control. So I just did it like this and hopefully that comes out okay. <laughs> All right, so for the next shot, I'm gonna try to turn this potato into one of the top chips. So I put one of the little sticks in the potato and I'm just gonna rotate it. shots that I wanted to get was the potato like laying down and then ascending up if that makes any sense like laying down and ascending up so I can put like vegan gluten free and uh non-gmo on the side I don't know how that's going to turn out I think the lighting with the white um 
cardboard that I was using as a background just looked a little bit weird. Um, so I'm gonna have to see how that looks in the computer. All right, go. That's it. And then I got some close-ups of just me like throwing the actual condiments onto um, a bowl with a different background. So I think it's gonna be good. So, so far the experience, I think it's really cool. Um, I think I really enjoy doing things like this. So if you guys like this video, let me know so I can do more because I want to experiment more with just transitions, um, you know, and different things like techniques. And if you guys saw my living room right now, it's kind of a mess. So I moved my um, coffee table and I put my dining table here in the center in front of my TV. So I am moving in a space and I have um, just this light to my right and then the, um, a key light to my left and I also have a small young mule light kind of like being my um just my backlight I guess so yeah I think it turned out okay I have to see when I edit everything how I'm feeling this definitely was really hard on my back I'm not gonna lie I feel like having a slider was probably much better just because I was holding your run in and the problem is on my screen um it's hard to see unless you're like really close to it it's hard to see if you're focused so I was kind of bending my back in like <laughs> probably not good ways but yeah let's go ahead and bring this old premiere and see how it looks like and hopefully you guys can see the final result in a couple hours so I'm just gonna start cleaning up this mess <laughs> 